Okay, so you can do it. I'm gonna give you first. It's gonna be a series of videos as always. I love series. And we're gonna talk about first, like how do you go about even approaching AMP? So, step number one is that you need to make sure that you pick the right teacher. So do your research, talk to other students at the school, see, like ask them around, like what teacher is good, what's their teaching style. You have to find the right teacher because this is the most, um, they have the highest dropout rate. A&P has the highest dropout rate in the U.S. People start A&P and then they drop out. That's what happens. That's the trend. Um, so find a good teacher who actually knows what the hell they're talking about. They're going to take the time to invest in you and get the shit done so that's that um i definitely recommend going to rate my professor.com i use it i actually need to go in there and rate some of my professors <laughs> but definitely use that website there's probably other websites out there that tell you like how teachers are give them like a little grade um but definitely talk to other students at the school too to get an idea of what teachers fit you so that's step number one number two make sure you pick the right classes around a and p so i the first time I took AMP, I was in nursing school. It, it was built into our program. It was integrated. It wasn't as long as your typical AMP course, and it was mostly geared towards just letting us know what we needed to know. Like it wasn't intensely detail oriented. Um, the second time I took it, I had to take it twice because the school I was at, the credits didn't transfer over, so I had to take it again so I can get into our RM program. Second time I decided to take it, I took it for eight weeks, AMP one, eight weeks, AMP two. Got it done in one semester. Bada bang, bada bang. If you've never taken it, do not take AMP in eight weeks. You need to take it for the full term. Get it done that way. Don't try to shorten it up. Don't take it over the summer. You need to get a full term of AMP. Whether or not you're going into nursing, whatever the reason why you're taking AMP, you have to make sure that like you really can invest the time and energy into this course because it does fit around a lot of healthcare careers and curriculums because you have to understand the body in order to work with the body on the body for the body you have to understand it and that's what amp is going to teach you so with that being said pick the right classes so i happen to take it amp one for eight weeks i took it along with math and micro it was pretty intense um but i got it done got an a did what i had to do um but i would definitely say take it kind of with like some fluff class like an english class or like an elective like art or photography take it with something that's kind of chill or if you're like going right back into school and you really don't really know how to start take it by itself because you have to think about it not only are you taking the class and that's class time but you're also taking the lab and that's lab time that's time as well on top of you have to have a grade for lab and for class so and you have to pass both of them in order to pass the course so you can't just pass cl the class and fail in the lab you're not going to be able to pass amp so you have to think about that as well so like i said take some fluff classes that don't really take up too much of your time or your energy um i would definitely gear towards more of the humanities like um english kind of english courses sociology psychology or electives um i definitely would not take another science or math or foreign language with amp that's my opinion unless you definitely feel like you know i'm a strong student i can do it i gotta get it done but just be weary and just know like it's gonna be hard so that's that also um with amp so this is kind of gearing into like the study habits that you should have now this video is going to talk about like before you get into AMP and also the study habits of AMP and then I'll do another video actually specifically talking about how to study for AMP but like most this is going to overlap like for any class that you should have um it's not just geared towards AMP but this is what I definitely say you need to do do your freaking homework do your homework I'm bad at homework I, I'm getting I'm getting better let's start let's be positive like I don't like homework um 
but you have to realize like so much of your grade comes from homework and it's like a free grade because you can go over it you can go to like the, the um, learning labs if you have a learning lab at your school you can go there and get help you can go to your teacher during her hours or his hours and get help and it's like a free grade it's just the time that you're putting into doing homework but homework not only does it give you those points that you need if you do bad on tests or labs but it also helps you to reinforce the information so make sure you do your homework don't rush through it take the time to actually do the homework maybe do it right after you learned about the subject do it and then look over it again before you go to class so right before you go to class look over so you kind of refresh the energy and the and the information into your mind um so do all of your assignments even extra credit even if you think i don't need extra credit do it because you never know how that final is going to be. You never know if you're going to get sick or you're going to bomb a lab or you're going to miss class and you're going to lose points that way. You never know what's going to happen. So do all your assignments, do all of your homework, and do all of your extra credit that you can. Uh, so what's most important is that you need to understand what AMP really means, anatomy and physiology. So the anatomy part of it is learning the location and the structure of your body and body parts okay in the physiology part of it is how that works so how does structure allow the body to function how does the structure of certain organs and certain cells and certain vessels how does that allow your body to function okay it's kind of like a car like a car is built and structured a certain way so that they can function a certain way there's a reason why we have four wheels and they all are touching the ground and they're at the bottom of the car there's a reason your car would not function properly if yeah you still had wheels but the wheels were on the hood it's not going to do what you need it to do so it's the same with anatomy and physiology you have to understand the structure and the location as long as, as well with the physiology which is also the way it functions okay so that's that understand it and then also realize that this class do not take it like easy don't think it's just a class you can rush through you can just learn for the test and be done with it everything you learn in amp will come back up again in your life it will because it's about the human body um like i said you most amps like you have to take amp for like respiratory therapy occupational therapy um physical therapy especially nursing um if you're being even med school just like you have to take it for everything um so i think you even have to take it if you're like going to school for like physical therapy so you really need it and you have to just think that this is a class that i have to understand and really get into for the sake of the people that i'm going to take care of in the future you have to do well in these classes so um so that's that so another thing that i would say to do is i talked about it in a different video is to learn your learning style whether or not you're like there's like seven different there's like a, a slew of different learning styles but there's like three to four basics so auditory meaning that you learn through what people say and you also can learn by reading as well um so that's auditory learning and then there's visual you like to look at charts you would like to have certain colors for things um graphs pictures those type of things diagrams all of that um and then there's kinetic where you like to be physical you like to be able to work with models um and you like to build things with your hands you like to do things and that allows you to uh, learn it's tactile it's physical for you um or kinetic so that's that those are the three that i pretty much highlight on the most but there's a slew of others so take a test get out there take a test learn your learning style and then use those tips that they have to go towards how you should study for amp now I'll, I'll have a separate video again showing you different ways to study using those learning styles so learn your learning style and go from there um so also use like your resources 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 um this class since like i said this is a class that is has a high fail rate or drop rate most colleges or universities they try to do all they can so their students can pass this course so the school i went to st louis community college um in case you are here in st louis um definitely go to the flow valley location nalima valsar she's a may zing she does have an accent some people cannot get with accents like i had no problem with it but she's she's a great teacher like she knows what the hell she's talking about 
um but anywho they have like a really nice lab as well there's this it's a small room but it's a room where you go in and they have all the different models that you need so all the body parts and the heart and and all this stuff like models of the, of the cells and everything in there and you can just take you can go in there anytime the library is open go in there study um you can go in there just to read you can watch videos you can look at the models touch the models because you're going to be using those same models in lab when you do like lab exams so it's good to be familiar with it as much as possible you can have little study groups in there they have a, a, a whiteboard and they also have a, lar a large uh computer um so yeah definitely use your resources so that's one resource see what your campus has a lot of times, especially community colleges, I know that they have like uh, resources as far as like peer tutoring. So you need to look into that. It's free. It comes. Well, I don't want to say anything. It's free. It comes with your tuition. It's part of your tuition. Um, you're already paying for it. So use it. This is a time extensive course. You have to take your time and do it. And I'm not saying it like I was perfect. Like I just took my time. I was just burning the book. I was just doing it. Um, I could have definitely done better and learned more and got more out of it. But with that being said, go to tutoring if you need, if you feel like you need it. Uh, even if you feel like you don't need it, just going early in the semester, building that relationship with a tutor, getting used to going there and just having that time outside of class, outside of lab that you put towards A&P 100% it's good just to kind of reinforce your learning outside of the class and also like i said it gives you that designated time to study with somebody so that when you do get to that point where you really need somebody to help you you're not running in there last minute and like you don't have a relationship with this person and they don't even understand you they don't understand how your mind works and how you think and how to communicate with you and you're trying to get help from them but really it becomes like really frustrating trust me i did it with chemistry last minute studying and i was frustrated i just walked out and did it by myself um but anywho so go even if you feel like you don't need it go in the beginning just to get an idea so that you can still have that help when you need it the most uh also some other resources is study groups i love study groups i definitely didn't i didn't do it so much with amp um but when in nursing school i did do studying groups uh there i'll do a separate video i'm always talking about doing separate videos about study groups how to be effective i had some good times some bad times and some waste of times with study groups so i will do a video on that but do study groups um as well as making sure that you communicate with your professors i said it before in other classes i mean in other videos communicate with your professors um if you feel like you kind of slip in and you don't really know if you're doing well in the class you don't know where you stand talk to your teachers especially before ad drop time so ad drop time is a time that you have before your grade post as a final grade so say for instance you know your fall class starts in the end of august your ad drop period might be like sometime in october so that you can drop that course before um you can drop that course and just get a w with me which means withdrawal on your transcript um versus you going all the way through the class and ending up with a d and that brings down your gpa and it's on your transcript and it counts as like your first attempt towards a p and it looks bad so know your ad drop dates talk to your professors before the ad drop dates get an idea of what you're doing in the class if they think that you'll be able to get the b or the c that you want to get out of the class aim for b's and a's though in a and p um so most teachers will be honest with you and be like yeah i don't see it happening um i can't see a teacher being like no you're gonna do well because they want they wanted you to have good grades too granted they don't want you to drop out of their class but they wanted to show that they're able to pass students with you know c's preferably b's and better so talk to them talk to guidance counselors at your school um and just be on top of it don't let it go too far and you think oh i'm kind of scared i don't know i feel stupid i feel like i can't do this like it is what it is there's other semesters there's other times you might have to scrap up that money and pay for the class again <laughs> been there done that um but you gotta do what you gotta do though i mean you want to get the good grades and you want it to show and even if you have to redo a class like you can still study in the meantime before that class the next time that semester comes um so anywho 
to communicate with your professors about the course, about what you're not understanding. Make sure that you know where they're, they're, um, they're uh, what do you call it? Oh, this baby. <sighs> okay, make sure that you know where their office is and that you communicate with them. You know where it's at, you know where their office are, hours are. You email them, you do all that good stuff. Um, something else I would say is to spend time in the lab. That's a good resource. So if you have like a AMP lab that's kind of open during certain hours, your teacher might not be the one that's in the class, but uh, that's in the lab room at that time. There might be like a student that's there to lead the lab or it might be a teacher from a different, you know, uh, that's teaching AMP, but they're not necessarily teaching your class. So you can still go in there and you can still look at the models and you can talk to the teacher, get help with homework. Um, and just kind of, like I said, be in the environment of a and and focus your energy towards a and for that amount of time. Even if it's just an hour, you know, out of the week, that's just time that you're putting straight towards a and So use labs as well. Um, also, uh, definitely look on YouTube. There's plenty of really smart scientists out there who have YouTube channels for a and Um, and they're able to explain anything and everything that you need to know about it and be very helpful to you uh let's see something else i would say do is do cheat sheets and all this other stuff which i will talk about in my next video which is going to be about how to actually study for amp and to make study materials for amp so i hope that this video was helpful just to get your mind and the wheels turning um, as far as how to approach anatomy and physiology and to be successful because you can and you will be successful in AMP. It is possible. There is, you know, there is the horizons coming, baby. There is the sunshine and all that over this hill of AMP. Don't let it get to you. You're going to get through it. 